Hi there everyone, welcome to another Aorus Wi-Fi battle. This is uh, an interesting battle I had the other day against a passerby. I decided to start practicing for the Kanto Classic uh, tournament that's going to come up at the end of the month, uh, where basically you can use any uh, any six Pokemon from Kanto as long as they're not holding any items. I think it's the first 6v6 battle that the Pokemon company has uh, tournament thing that the company has uh, hosted, so this will be great. It's on the 3DS. You can find out about it more on the global link. But anyway, here's how it went. Since my opponent was a random passerby, he, uh, he he's just using a standard team which all holds items. So, funnily enough, we both have a ride on. So, uh, I decided to lead out lead off with Aerodactyl here. I decide to go straight for the Aqua Tail, see how much it'll do. And it does a nice 51%. And we see that thing went straight for the Stealth Rocks. Here I figure it's probably going to want to switch out. So I went for the nice uh, Hone Claws, boost my attack and accuracy. But turns out he didn't switch out, he stayed straight in and goes for the Ice Punch. Unfortunate, but I should be able to survive. However, he gets the Freeze. So, uh... I have to hope I four out here, which I clearly don't, and down I go to another Ice Punch. Sorry Aerodactyl, you didn't get to do too much in that battle. Yep, so down goes my Aerodactyl, and here I bring in Starmie. I need to get rid of those uh, rocks if I can help it, but since he didn't switch last time, I'm thinking he's fine to let this thing die at the moment, so I go straight for the Scald and finish it off. Now that I know his main rock... Uh, uh, Sorry, Stealth Rocker is gone. I am free to go for the, um, what's it called? Rapid Spin. He sends in Magmorto, which surprised me a bit. I do get the Rapid Spin off. But then, yes, we see the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. And he gets, no, it wasn't even a crit. But damn, it's a powerful Pokemon. I go for the Scald here. I'm fine to let Starmie go down, and I don't really have a safe switch in for this Pokemon. So as long as he doesn't have another Stealth Rocker, I should be okay. But, yep, now that the rocks are gone, Dragonite is clear to come out with his multi-scale ability. I do not expect Magmortar to have an Ice move. I don't think I can learn any apart from Hidden Power. So I go for the Dragon Dance, and we do see Hidden Power. Man, I wish I was holding my weakness policy right now. But, yep, he decides to preserve that thing for later. And then sends in Dridagon. Nice and shiny, like all this Pokemon so far, I think. But yeah, I went for the Earthquake, going for that super effective. But uh, here, I know another Earthquake isn't going to kill, so I'm going to have to go for the Dragon Claw. But, since it's a Drodagon, I am expecting Rough Skin. And if he is feeling that sadistic, Rocky Helmet. I, was, I wasn't expecting a Sucker Punch, though. But of course, come to think of it, Drodagon do use Sucker Punch a lot. But yep, in comes Cloyster. Now, he's either going to sm Shell Smash, or he's going to Ice Shard. So here I decide, just go for the Extreme Speed on the chance that he Ice Shards. And lucky me, he did Ice Shard. If he'd gone for a Shell Smash there, I would have been in big trouble. So yep, down goes uh, Dragonite. But, nice easy switch into Jolteon here, who of course is super fast. That Ice Shard does a nice bit of damage, but Thunderbolt of course finishing it off get the crit too, but I don't think that really mattered. So, yep, out comes Magmortar, and I know nothing I'm going to be able to do is going to be able to one-hit KO it. So, I'm going to go straight for the Volt Switch. Get some damage while switching out. Out I go into the uh, nice ride on here, who should resist most of its attacks. Without the Aviolite, Rhydon's special defense is very terrible. Yep, I go for the late game Stealth Rock here, and we and we see he has Focus Blast, which is definitely going to one-hit KO me if it hits. But, lucky me, he had misses twice, and I'm free to get an Earthquake off. This is my uh, defensive wall Pokemon here. Absolutely no special defense almost. Yep, out comes Pinsir. Unfortunately... I do not have a rock move. 
I left the rock moves to Aerodactyl and stuck with the Earthquake on the sky. So there isn't really anything I can do to Pinsir. So, yep, it goes for the Earthquake. And since that's non-stab, I should definitely be able to live that. And I went for the Toxic. Since there wasn't really anything else I could do, I had Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Toxic, and something else. Something useless. But yep, goes for the Earthquake and finishes me off. Mm. Silly Facebook notification there. I'm certainly missing uh, held items, but this is certainly a challenging format. I can't wait to take part in the tournament. But yep, out comes Jolteon. I know I'll outspeed. I was surprised to see he didn't go for a quick attack. But even if he did, I would have resisted it since Electric resists flying. We do uh, finish that off. And out comes Espeon. Gets caught in those rocks. Nice. And I go for the Shadow Ball. Don't think it'll be a one-hit KO, but... Did decent damage. And hitting me on the special on the physical side, Jolteon is quite weak there, and Jolteon goes down. And now I get to bring out my last Pokemon, which of course is Cypher, one of the coolest Gen 1 Pokemon. And I go for that Technician boosted Quick Attack to finish it off. Down goes Espion, and I win the battle. That was certainly interesting, considering I was handicapped by having no held items. But yep, things are looking good. I certainly look forward to the tournament. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed.